So in this video, I want to talk about one idea that radically changed my life and uh, helped me to become way happier, way more successful and grow with ease. And when I wasn't applying this idea before I started applying it, uh, life was a struggle. It was a push to get to the next level all the time. And if you stay to the end of this video, I'm going to talk about uh, a couple simple ways to change this area of your life. So if you're not doing this already, you can start to implement it, start to change it and start to move in the right direction so that you can make this shift yourself. And the simple shift is, is really not that complex. It's really a simple idea, but it's so easy to ignore. You see, a lot of people think that when they don't love their reality the way it is, that they need to build a burning desire to get out of it. And they're going to, if I hate this, I'll get to that. There's an example. I don't like the fact that I don't have any women. So I'm going to learn to get good with women and I'm going to force myself to go out every day to get away from this reality so that I can shift to a new reality. Because when I get those women, I'll be happy. I want to get the sex life, the dating life, the girlfriend, whatever it is, that's when I'll truly be happy. So in reality, it doesn't work that way. You see, if you understand the revealing process and you're down in apathy, grief, and fear, if you keep focusing on getting away from this pain to get to this new reality and you keep pushing and amplifying the want, the want grows higher, grows more and more and more, and you actually become more unhappy. You actually amplify pain and the pain keeps increasing in your body. And I was doing this a lot. I would push, push, push. I'd amplify the pain. I got to do this. I got to force myself and the pain would get greater from forcing and from pushing into, into this new reality, trying to run from my pain in a sense, run from the reality I didn't want. And then what would happen is I'd burn out. I'd collapse into some apathy or some grief, and then I would start again. The only case where this actually works is if you're higher up in the emotional scale, maybe anger and pride, and you're gonna push and use some proactive anger to push yourself into cap in a new reality. And that's kind of that whole, I'm gonna do it, state pumpy energy, you know, I'm gonna force myself. And it works for those kind of people. But the bulk of the planet is not in this place, and I wasn't either. And then I began to realize one day, what kind of life do I really want? Do I want a life of push and struggle that's no fun? Or do I want a life that's beautiful? And that's when I started to look at life and say, you know what, I'm gonna create some a life balance. I'm gonna create a life that I love, that I enjoy, that I can't wait to do. And that's what it all became about. I said, wait a minute, if I have to get, if I don't like my life where it's currently at, and I have to get to this new life to be happy, something's wrong with that. Something's really wrong with that because ultimately I'll never be happy. You see, what you focus on expands. And if the whole idea, if I'm focusing on the idea that my current life sucks and I got to get a new life, when I get that new life, then I'll suddenly be unhappy with that one because that's what I focused on. I, my now was never good enough. So it doesn't matter what my now is. I'm going to keep repeating that pattern. And I'm going to need more and more and more to be happy till one day I get disillusioned and realize that Happiness doesn't come from having more. The second thing you realize is, you begin to realize is that when you do get happy, and this is the secret, when you do get, finally get happy with your now, just the way it is, the more comes easily. And that's what changed in my life. It was such a radical paradigm shift. I started to work on being happy now. I started to work on loving my life just the way it was. Getting up each morning and saying, how can I have passion and love for this day? What is beautiful outside right now? And I started to look around and I said, there's so much beauty in the world. I love just watching birds, man. It's weird, but I'll go someplace where I can watch birds fly. I love watching them fly. And maybe that, maybe that's why I'm getting into, I'm enjoy, I enjoyed paragliding so much. I love looking at nature, the mountains, sunsets, the beaches. This is, it's all around me, all this beautiful stuff. And I was so hyper-focused, I wasn't enjoying my now. I had so much to be thankful for. My life had changed so much and grown so much already. I could totally be thankful for it. But even if it hadn't, there's a simple process like meditation, body scan meditation, going out and exercising, a real, like a certain type of exercise I love to do. I used to love to get on my rollerblades and uh, I had a coach, a trainer that said embodiment was, rollerblading was great for embodiment. You make me rollerblade all the time. And I hadn't done that in years. I got on them and I was like, Oh, this is great. I love doing it. How about snowboarding, uh, skiing? I love bo doing both of those. So there's so many things I love about life that I can do each day from simple things around movement to my meditations, to just enjoying my walks and my vulnerability walks in nature. Uh, when I had my dog, spending time with my dog. And 
I was always ignoring all the stuff that made me happy. And this is the key. I was ignoring all the stuff that really made me feel good. And I was constantly focusing on what I needed to change and what I needed to get into my life to be happy. And until I got that, I wasn't going to be happy. I wasn't going to let myself enjoy this stuff until I got this other thing. And that was the problem. As I started to learn to stop and enjoy the now every day and start with that, whether it's meditation in the morning, movement, feeling work, then it became so much easier to bring this new life into my life. Matter of fact, they started to come together naturally. And that's the weird thing. They started to come together naturally. And you can do this too. It's really not a hard process. And I know it doesn't make sense, but you can do it. It's easy. Really quick though, if you're getting value out of this video already, please uh, consider liking. My, actually, just hit smash that like button right now and hit the uh, subscribe button. Share the video because it helps us to grow the channel so that we can bring you more awesome content. Put a comment in the video. We'd love to see your comments. I appreciate it. So what I started to do from this point forward was I started to say, how can I enjoy my life now? How can I enjoy my life just the way it is? And I made a list of things that I love and I made that the priority. I began to realize that the whole reason I go do work and I push myself, whether it's work or getting girls, was to bring more enjoyment into my life. So how could I have more enjoyment now? And as I talked about, some of it is my exercise, some of it is, is my reading I do in my studies, some of it is snowboarding and skiing, uh, there are certain people in my life that I started to bring back into my life. I started to bring back my old house parties I used to have and I start to have friends over and we just kick it and relax. Uh, some of it's my travel. I made a list of things I love to do and I would, I would do those things. But even before that, I started to look at, hey, can I be happy before I even do a thing? What's my morning ritual when I get up in the morning where I sit down and relax? and I have my first cup of coffee and I relax and I meditate and I, and I practice opening my body, this is a key, and feeling my body, seeing nature, doing what I call my vulnerability walks and my heart walks and connecting with everything around me. And when I began that process every day, it took a few weeks, but I started to get happier and happier every morning. And then I started to spread that throughout my day. Now you gotta develop your own ritual, but as you develop your own rituals, they start to grow into everything else you do you start to change fundamentally fundamentally at your core and then they start to grow into everything else you do now people have this tendency to think that to make a big change in my life i have to hate where i'm at to go where i want to go for example a lot of people want to begin to have a perfectly good job but they want to do something else because they feel guilty for wanting to do something else they begin to hate their job they work on, uh, they start saying, well, you know, my boss sucks and this sucks. And they develop a, a, almost an a, a anger for their job so that they don't feel guilty quitting and then they can quit and go to a new job. But then they'll just recreate that same problem in the new place because that's the pattern. We tend to follow patterns. So I want you to see if you do this in your life. There's no reason you can't love the job you're at, appreciate it, but say, I wanna do this now instead. I have a new inspiration. I have a new appreciation for a new idea, something new and creative I wanna do. And I'm gonna move and shift my life in this new reality. And then quit your job from a place of appreciation, which will make life so much easier as you make the transition. There doesn't have to be a fight. There doesn't have to be a struggle. Well, it's the same thing in everything else you do. If you can love your life right now, no matter how many women you've got, how much sex you've got, and you can appreciate it, then doing the work where you imagine women coming into your life, the, what we call the, the modeling where you can see them, visualize, becomes so much easier because you're not in an internal fight. You can start to appreciate women walking down the street that are beautiful, that aren't in your life and say, you know what? Some woman like that's coming to, it's coming in my life very soon. You can start to enjoy women right where they're at. And when you start to walk up to women and say hi, even though you don't have women in your life, because you're happy, they'll be curious about how you can be so happy. How, how come you're so happy or what's, what in your life makes you happy or what kind of life you have because you're happy with or without them. When you're dating them, they can feel you don't need them anymore and they get more drawn to you. You see, the more you become happy without needing the outside world to change, the more the outside world wants to change to match you, the more women want to get into your world because women want to be in a man's world that doesn't need them. It's part of what makes them attracted. Like he's a solid dude. He doesn't need me. I want to give to him. And I know that sounds like an oxymoron, but 
it applies both ways. If you're dating a woman that needs you to be happy, that sucks. But if you're dating a woman that doesn't need you, she can go out and get other guys and she knows it and she's damn sexy, but she chooses you. There's something about you. There's something like, damn, I just want to be with you, babe. That is fucking sexy. And that's what I want from a woman. I want a woman that's like that. And I want to be like, I don't want to need another woman because two needy people make something miserable. And two happy people that don't need each other can create something beautiful if they choose each other. And that's what you're getting to. So I want to invite you into this idea that you can start to create a happy life today. Start to make a list of things that make you happy. And even before that, begin to design a, more, a daily ritual of getting back to your happiness if you're stuck. Uh, a really good uh, um, a video that I'm going to recommend on that, to check out that goes with this is my body scan meditation. Check out my body scan meditation for learning to feel your body, learning to relax into your body. There'll be a link in this video somewhere uh, coming up and you can go check that one out. That'll teach you the basics of relaxing into your body so you can become more present. If you listen to that every morning, that can be really powerful. Another one that I love a lot is a, a video and we can put a link in here for this one too. It's about being a powerful man. I can't remember the exact title, but we'll put a link in here. It's a video I did in Istanbul and it really helps you to own your reality as a man and be the chooser rather than somebody who's trying to get something outside yourself. And it's another great video to watch. Both of these are re releasing and revealing process videos. They're more meditative to get that endorphin flowing. So. Uh, so as you create your morning ritual and you begin to listen to videos like these and, and you can watch these channels over and over so you can get the, the recorded release and start to develop it, you'll start to get happier. This doesn't mean you don't envision a great reality that you're going to create in the future, but this means that you're happy with your reality now so that it's easier and easier to get to that reality. You're not in a fight all the way to it. Now, if you're really stuck in this area and you're really having a hard time, and you're like, I'm just apathetic and I can't feel anything and I don't know how to be happy. I have a video on being stuck that has helped a lot of people in this area to break free of this energy. It's another releasing video. Um, and these are three of my favorite releasing videos we have on the YouTube channel. Check that one out. We'll put a link in here for that one too. And that one can help you to relax and get through being stuck and have a breakthrough to the point where you start to feel uh, lighter and lighter. And that's going to need to be done over time. This apathetic energy moves the slowest, but your goal is to get happy now and then start inviting women into that reality, into your new reality, a reality that is, that is great just the way it is. And that is powerful. It doesn't mean you don't work on going to get women and, and, and be good with women. It just means you have fun doing it once you, get, once you start learning to be happy now, rather than I've got to try to go get these women out of pain. Because think about it, if I approach a woman out of the pain of not having her, what's that going to do? I mean, that's obvious, right? It's not going to work for you. It's going to grow in the wrong direction. So we got three uh, releasing videos in this video that you can check out uh, that are going to be awesome. And also, the last thing, I'm going to remind you one more time, develop that morning ritual. Develop a day. What is your daily ritual? Is it your own meditative practice? Is it sit? I love to sit on my beautiful balcony right out here, watch the birds with my cup of coffee. I love to take these walks where I just practice opening my heart and relaxing all through this part of my body, taking in nature. And then after I can do about 10, 15 minutes of taking in nature, like I talked about birds, then the next thing I'll do is I'll start taking in people and saying hi to them. I do my daily highs. And it makes me feel so good inside. I love going to the dog park down the street and playing with the dogs because I used to have a dog. I take her down there all the time. Since I don't have her anymore, I'll just go down and play with dogs. I know I'm gonna get another one someday. I'm getting to know all these breeds that uh, eventually I'll decide which one I want and I'll get another dog. So, so just little things like this, the little things in life matter. So hopefully you like this video. Hope you got a lot of value out of it. It's a powerful uh, concept. Hopefully you can take it home and utilize it. Check out those three releasing videos. Uh, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, make sure to hit that bell notification, make sure to share so we can keep growing the channel, bringing you awesome content. Make sure to comment. And uh, with that said, remember, only the confident really live. I'll see you in the next video.